In this video we will look into creating an Android plugin for Unity and add a Toast notification to our Unity Android app. First we will start by creating an Android Studio project. Fill in appropriate application name and package name. After the Android Studio project is created, go to File, New, and create a new module, select Android Library as module type, fill in with appropriate module name and package name for the Android Library, take a note of the package name as we will be using it in future. After the Android library is created, go to the created Android library and create a new Java class inside the Android library. We will create three methods in this Java class. First will be the add which will take two integers as input and output the resulting sum. Next we need to create a static variable to receive the current activity from Unity, and then a method which will receive the activity from Unity and store it in the previously created Unity activity. Then we will create a toast method which will take string as an input and show the Android toast notification. Here we pass our previously set Unity activity as context for showing the toast. Finally, we will build our Unity plugin. The output will be inside your plugin folder, Build, Outputs, AAR. Next, we will move to our Unity project. First, start by creating a Unity project. and then changing the build platform to Android.
After that, we set up the basic Unity project for building on Android, create a scripts folder, and a new C-sharp script. Then we will create a new plugins folder, Android, and then add the previously created AAR Android library inside the Android folder. Then we need to create two UI buttons for add and toast. Afterwards we will add the created script to a game object and open in a code editor of your liking. In the script first create Android Java class Unity class, which will hold Unity Player class. Android Java object Unity activity, which will hold current activity from the Unity Player and Android Java object plugin instance which will point to the Android plugin created. We first need to initialize our Android plugin, create a method initialize plugin with plugin name as input. Here first we will set Unity class to the default Unity Player class. Then we get current activity from Unity class and set the same to Unity activity. and point plugin instance to the created Android plugin. Then if everything works fine pass the Unity activity back to our plugin. You can call public methods from Android plugin using a dot .call or dot .call static for static methods. In our case, we will pass Unity activity to the receive Unity activity method present in the plugin. Then add the add method, which will call the similar add method from the plugin. Here, as add is supposed to give an integer output. Type cast the dot call to give integer as output, and then pass 5 and 6 as inputs. Afterwards output the result into the debug log. Next add a toast method, 
which will call the toast method from the Android plugin and display the input string message as toast notification. Here we pass hi from Unity as input string message, which will be displayed as a toast notification. And finally we need to call initialize plugin and start with package name dot class name as plugin name, which in this case is comvoidstudio.unity plugin dot plugin instance. In Unity then connect the buttons with their respective methods and build the app. As here the app running on an Android device can be seen, connect the phone to the PC, enable USB debugging, which will give all the logs in Logcat, search for Unity, this will show only Unity logs. Click on Add button, the output 11 can be seen in the Logcat. Similarly if clicked on Toast, the message Hi from Unity is being displayed. 